This is the Atto with Zach. And TT. For the Mill Drive Home, reporting on the game that just finished at the Medeski Stadium. It finished Red in 1. Millwall 2! Yes! Wow, what a comeback. Um, two games in a row we've come from behind. And today, to be fair, we looked... We were lucky to win 2-1, I felt. We, we you, were more shaky today. Yeah, yeah, you said at the end we were a bit more shaky. I don't think we fully deserved to get all three points, but we got three points nonetheless. After gifting Reading a goal, we then make some super subs and Gary Rowett shows that he's got some tactical now. The subs change the game completely and we take our chances, which we don't often do. You know, no, one, we never do that. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, it's so good to, to come off the back of a, a convincing win. That's now six games unbeaten. You know, three wins, three draws. Good, good run. It's a good, it's a decent run. We last lost at home to Forest in, in the middle of January. So we're on a decent run and it's good to see the players fighting. Let's make no doubt about it. We've had injuries, you know, Kefton, no Kefton Bell in that team. No Leonard in that team, two of our best performers in the last two or three games. Especially in that midfield. Yeah, and um, Evans comes in and does a, a, a fantastic yeah. job. Um, the commentators were saying when Murray Wallace comes back, Murray Wallace can fit in a back three and then... Um, Evans can come Ev further forward. Evans can come further forward and in that's, the midfield. You know, without Murray Wallace, you know, every team in the Championship is going uh, to go through injuries, but we just yeah. don't really have the strength in depth to see us step up the way we did with the players that we did on you know coming off the bench is is a really good sign we started with the three kind of two wing backs two midfielders and then you know one two that was our formation which is a bit of a weird formation but obviously we had a back three of cooper hutchinson and evans was it no who else did play in the city? It was played. Evans. Was it Evans? Yeah. Then he, he, uh, yeah, but he, with, with the change, he moved into centre midfield, didn't he? Mate. Yeah, started as a centre back. Um, I thought he played really well first half, other than he slipped um, a little bit for the on about the 40th minute when with a chance, which we'll go into in a minute. Right wing back was Marlon Romeo. Left wing back was Scott Malone. In front of them, we had Woods and Williams. You didn't mention an uh, injury, Danny McMahon. I thought he was, was he was he injured. It was a knock, weren't it? Okay, yeah. Um, so Marlon kept his place. Yeah. Woods and Williams in the centre of the park, which I, I don't particularly like. I don't think there's enough legs there when when we've got them two there. Um, and then we had the, the front two of Thompson and Zahor, no, Bod Barson and Zahor with Thompson just in behind them. It was a centre. It was a false nine roll. Yeah, false nine, which, which Tom has been playing uh, recently. Uh, to be fair, Budvarsson and Tomo, not their greats of the game, didn't really get involved in the um, the action. It was uh, also Williams. You know, obviously, we start the game really well. Uh, a good free kick into the... Uh, I think it was a, a, a free kick. No, a corner into the it box. Was, yeah. Uh, Evans gets up, heads it well, comes off the crossbar. Um, from a, It was from a run of set pieces. Yeah, and, and, and it was a short corner. I think it was well worked. You know, they left us alone, yeah. allowed us to play Malone. You know, Malone's delivery is absolutely superb. Oh, it, Abs absolutely there fantastic. There was one ball in the match, but the, other than that, Malone's deliveries are... Are really are good. Point. They are really good. Um, but there weren't too many chances, you know, first half. Certainly first 20 minutes, but obviously, I think it was on the 18th minute, you know, Bart gets the ball, he throws it out, he's under no danger... Williams has got a bit of space, but he's got a, a mill player next to him. Takes a bad touch. The ball falls straight to um, Samedo, who hits the ball first time, and and puts it in the back of the net. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a poor it's a error from error. it's a schoolboy error from Williams. And Bart, because Zach said, what's um what's Bart done wrong there? And for me, Bart hasn't recovered himself quick enough. As soon as he threw the ball out, although there's no danger, you want to get yourself back into position. He was a little bit slow to get back into position, and that um means that he gets caught out. However, he doesn't expect Williams to lose the ball in that position. So it's a both of them are at fault because and it's a, such a cheap goal to concede and you, you it was annoying because like I said we'd started the game reasonably well and um we were probably the better side in the first half although you know if we'll, we'll go into it but Reading do create another another decent chance. Evans um has a free kick that drops to Cooper. You know Evans from deep Drops to Cooper. Cooper knocks it. I think it, it kind of knocks it down. It bundles around and drops to Tomo, who's about 10 yards out. 
tries to volley in. It's a kind of a mishit volley, weren't it? That, that kind of dribbled into the goalkeeper. Um, that, that was on the 37th minute. We didn't have much, many, like I said, many, many opportunities. Cooper did have a, a free header from a free kick that, that he put wide, just wide of the right post. Um, and then 40th minute, you know, really good play by Ajari. He was a quality player in, in the he, championship. You yeah, know, he's, he's run so through. Skillful. He's so skillful. Runs through the middle of the park. Plays a fantastic ball into Lucas Jow, who hits the ball first time. And, and Jed Dad, Bart does a brilliant save down to his left. Pushes it around the post. And um, did he push it around for the post or did he push it out for a rebound? I think he did push it out for a, a corner. Very good save regardless. And we go in at 1-0 down and... I, I felt we were unlucky to be 1-0 down, although the chance, the last chance of the, the half falls to them. And if we're going in 2-0 down, it really would have been a travesty. So we get in at half-time, changes are made. I felt that they were needed to kind of freshen it off, um, freshen it up. Bennett comes on, Jed comes on. They're obviously going to change games. You know, they're, they're, they're electric, lively when they're at it. And both of them were at it today. You know, Williams and Bodvarsson go off. And we just looked to an all-round better side. Tomo did go up front, you know, to partner Zahor for, for a lot of the time. Again, like I said, he was ineffective a lot of the time. Um, and the game changed, really, when we brought on the second striker. And, and, I, and I felt good things were going to happen. Um, I'll go on to my man of the match now, because this kind of fits into what I felt he'd done really well. But my man of the match today, without a shadow of a doubt, was, was Marlon Romeo. You could give it to Smith for him changing the game and Bradshaw... But I thought Romeo had a consistent game all the way through. He'd done well in, in, in the back five. Stepped up again in the back four. But he was always willing to run on the ball. I felt he um, took the pressure off of us a lot of times. Which is, you know, it doesn't always happen. I felt that he, he was really good today. And, and what, what did you think? Um, I mean, I didn't think about my man of the match today. But um, Malone played a fantastic game again. You can't, you can't get that wrong. I... I I um I'm gonna give it to Malone because his deliveries into the box, his electric pace sometimes, it just it change and it, and his long throw-ins as well, it changes the game sometimes. And I I think I think he's been on a fantastic run, and I'm giving it to Malone. So obviously still one 0 to them. They had a couple of chances at that stage, you know, with a shot at Bart, which was good saved, it was a good shot by Jaria. Then Smith comes on for Tomo, and like I said, that's where the game changed. We did go very direct. We were a bit too direct in the first half, which didn't really make sense considering the players were up there. Makes sense when you've got Smith up there to, to, to knock it down. He knocked one on straight away for Zahor. And we thought it could have been a penalty, to be fair, because Zahor gets the ball first and then he's taken out and then it has to get subbed himself. Yeah, because it is a clip in the ankle. Yeah. It isn't good. And then obviously Bradshaw comes on for Zahor after that challenge. And I, I, I tweeted that Bradshaw's going to score from a flick on from, from Smith. It was the other way around. You know, it was really good work. Um, for, for Bradshaw, he gets the shot away afterwards. You know, what What I really liked about it was that, you know, it was a good run by um, ben, Bennett, played a good drive on the ball. I, I, I keep saying it time and time again, it's so important that when you get space in front of you, which we had today, drive on it into that space, lays in Malone, Malone cuts it across the 18-yard box. Bradshaw does really well, kind of has a shot towards goal, which was a little bit of a mishit shot. But it deflects right into the path of Smith, who smashes the absolute granny out of it into the top right-hand corner and makes it 1-0. And, you know, we were celebrating at that stage. A um, bit of a hip thrust celebration we were both going for. Um, and then, you know, 1-0. I, I felt that the game was going to have a winner in it. Both teams weren't sitting back. Both teams were going for it. Um, Lauren then hits, you know, he has a thing off the bar. You know, a very good... But what I felt was Hutchinson was fantastic today at the back. Cooper again, very good at the back. Cooper gets in, gets his body in the way, deflects, hits off the bar, and and you know you think Malone just headers it back to yeah, oh. but it does really well, and you think maybe is it our day? You know those little things going our way. You know Reading didn't have a penalty claim, or they said it was a penalty claim. It was never a penalty. You know Romeo gets the ball first. The player Ijaria again causing us trouble, but it was not uh, not a penalty at all. The only thing I don't like about Ijaria, one he's a moaner. And two, he's a big fat diver. Yeah, well, quite a few players in it. You know, quite a few Reading players today throwing themselves all over the pitch. They'll think that we're quite a physical team. However, you know, the, the calling from the bench and the falling over just down your feet. You know, played the game. The referee didn't kind of fall for it today, which was which was pleasing to see. Um, Jed then had a shot saved. He put the ball into the box. The ball, ball uh, bounced out. He kind of had a swivel volley on it, and, and it was well saved by the goalkeeper. Again, we were we were coming more and more into the game and thinking we've got, we're going to have a chance. 
Malone then has deflected, shot, uh, deflected cross. The ball's played out to him on the left. Another, you know, ball into the box. It doesn't matter if you just want getting the balls into the box. is going to create trouble. It loops up. Bennett kind of loops the header into the back of the net, makes it 2-1. and It was a fantastic header. You know, Zach jumps into my arms at that stage and, you know, there's still a long way to go. Still 12 minutes to go, but I felt that we kept up the intensity, you know, a fresh Jed, a fresh, Ma a fresh Mason, able to, to run the ball down. And I thought Smith in the corner, even Smith running down the channels, you know, looked really lively. And, and there's, there's going to be a lot of talk about him starting the game, but he does what exactly what Matt Smith does. You know, he comes off he, the bench and creates blimmin' havoc. Scores. Yeah, he scores goals. Um, we need to start him because the only way we score him? is Matt Smith. Every single, nearly every single goal, he's a part of. He's it, so good. It's hard to argue against starting him because of the fact that he does score goals. However, he's so impactful when he comes off the bench. You know, you you. The, the problem for me players. is I, I I just don't see what Budvarsson offers on a consistent basis. Bradshaw looked better today, um, far more lively than 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 you've seen him. I know he likes to run around a, a, a lot, but I felt that he was you know getting his body in the way. He was, uh, you know, Gregory esque. But obviously, he helps create the goal. Um, yeah. Then Gibson has a great chance on the 80th minute. He's in bundles of space on the left side. The ball's played out to him. He has a shot, and it just it, it goes over. And they didn't really create much else from that. And that we were able to see the game out. It was great to see Billy Mitchell on his return. You know, he came on and Woods went off. Woods had a quiet game today. You haven't heard me mention him. A steady six out of seven. In fact, most of the players across the park, six out of seven, other than the stand that the subs, like I said, making a difference. Maybe they get an eight. And I thought Romeo gets a, an eight, eight and a half to, 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 to get them out of the match. But we, you know, we're walking away from another game with, with three points. You know, the subs definitely changed the game. Evans, I felt, looked good in the midfield when we went to the 4 4 2 formation and, and we looked to take the game. You know, Gra uh, Rowett's got to take uh, the plaudits for, for making a subs. Yet people might say about the starting lineup, but he's dealt with the injuries well. We've now got Birmingham in midweek. I made the mistake. I felt it was like last week, it was this week. I missed that this game. But we've got Birmingham to come in midweek. And then I think it's Wickham on Saturday. Two, you know, Wickham won today. But two winnable games. And we'll see it's where we are after that. You know, you've got to build on, 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 on games like this. Like I said last week, we've done it again this week. The momentum starts to go with you. And, and, and you can you can see the, the Millwall train is, is, is starting to... To start to pick up speed. Six without a six with six games without a defeat is is no bad shot at all. Only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care.